Good morning, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Herping Lebanon. Today we're herping on in the Lebanese mountains, uh, not far from the highest uh, mountain peak in Lebanon, uh, at around uh, 2,000 meters. Uh, this is a place uh, where spotted whip snakes, hemorrhoid ravageri, were found uh, before, and I'm coming. I came here to uh, to look for those. There is also potential for mountain vipers of really big sizes and transcaucasian rat snakes, maybe some other species that are still undiscovered. So we're gonna look around. Uh, there are lots of rodent holes and very potential habitat for many snakes. So stick around and enjoy. As you can see guys, the terrain is different from almost anywhere else in Lebanon. That's why the area holds some cool species. It's really interesting fauna. Uh, it's still the morning and I'm trying to look near rodent holes and near bushes where, uh, where the snake hide for the night and hoping to find some sunbathing snakes but nothing so far. I'll keep looking. So our first reptile for today is a beautiful snake eyed lizard. Obviously it lost its tail and it's regrowing right now. Uh, they live in these rodent holes, so I was trying to escape as soon as I approached. But since lizards use these holes, snakes might also be tanning somewhere near or around. So I'm looking carefully on the ground and hope So guys, we just them. found our first snake for today. It's... It looks like the look of his jugularis, but I've never seen juveniles colored like this. That is so epic. I've never seen a uh, sub-adult colored like this. It has a reddish belly and a very bright color comparing to the Lycophis jugularis that we found along the coastline. Uh, I think it might be the same subspecies as, we, as the one we found in previous videos during the Tenorine trip, the adult with the red belly. But I will make sure and check with some experts to see what if it's something completely new for Lebanon. That's pretty. Look at how beautiful this baby is. Look at this reddish tail. It's pretty obvious it's different from the baby whip snakes we find along the coastline. These guys feed on rodents and lizards mainly. And there are lots of uh, rodent holes here, so that's probably their number one uh, prey. Uh, we also found a bunch of big sheds, snake sheds, that probably belong to adults of the species. Now we're gonna let go of this beauty and keep looking for more snakes and hope to find some spotted whip snakes and... That rock and it's probably a species as the snake we found earlier it's a delicophis jugularis but it's a bigger one you can see it's already black you can know from the head it's the same species but they have small head compared to other snakes and the area is quite promising we'll keep looking and we'll check another spot now and hope to find the spotted whip snake my friends just found this cool looking caterpillar on a dead branch I've never seen anything like that before, so if you know which butterfly moth it belongs to, please leave a comment below. Really curious, it's amazing. Also gonna take some macro shots for it. And 
it's time for the second spot for today and there are more tree cover so as it gets hotter maybe the snakes will be under the trees and I still really want to see the spotted whip snake that will make my day it's pretty cool the area is pretty far from where I live so I rarely get the chance to come here to look for snakes otherwise I would do it almost every week and here guys I, fl I flipped those wheels over there and I found a beautiful uh, sub-adult Levant green lizard a Certimedia probably uh, at this stage they are brown in color as they grow for males and a bit paler for females males have an amazing blue throat during the mating season to attract females it's probably one of the most colorful lizards in Lebanon and that's pretty stage of their life check this out and really sad we just found a dead die snake the people around here kill them because they eat their fish so uh, the kids were telling me if I find another snake to help them kill it and all that so I think there's some awareness will happen here if we find another snake so the second location was looking better than the previous one but it was not as successful as before and the sun is really high it's really hot right now so no wonder snakes are probably hiding so we're gonna go to a more shady spot or more uh, wet spot and hope to find maybe some dice snakes and others and we'll stop on the way to look for the same species we were looking for earlier and we made a quick stop near the mountain peak uh, it's an awesome mountain viper habitat but it's too sunny so I'm not sure we'll see any sunbathing snakes right now but I will look under the bushes, maybe we spot some really cool mountain vipers around. And look at this unusual insect guys, that's called desert mantis. They live in areas with very harsh conditions like semi-deserts, uh, mountain tops. And they are heavily built and compacted somehow to survive the harsh weather here, especially the cold nights and snowy times. and. Uh, uh, sun during the day uh, they're insectivores they're predatory like any mantis species but they uh, they have a lifestyle of a darkling beetle they always run around on the ground and they as you can see they're very camouflaged so it's hard to spot them with all the rocks around and we here we got a beautifully colored skink so of the genus Trachylepis they share habitat with mountain vipers most of the time. They inhabit mountain ranges like these. And they're everywhere around here. I've seen lots of juveniles and this is an adult. 